Want a collection of short stories that will simply devour you? Then stick around for this episode of The Book Club. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave Musson, at Dave Musson on Instagram. And normally this is where I talk to you about Stephen King. But in this spin-off series, it's where I bring great book recommendations right to you through the magic of the internet. Yes, this is The Book Club. This is where I talk about some of the books that I have really enjoyed and that I think you will too. And in each episode, I'll bring you a single book. I will give you its synopsis. I will tell you a bit about its author. I will give you my spoiler-free review of it. And because this channel started life as a Stephen King channel after all, I will try and align it to a Stephen King book in case you wanted an extra point of reference to just finally convince you to go and give this thing a try. And as I like to preach around here, if you check out these books based on my recommendation, if you go and read them and you enjoy them, please review them on Goodreads and on Amazon and then rave about them on your own social media channels, particularly when it comes to indie authors, such as what we're talking about in this episode. So those authors who, like me with my own writing, do it in their spare time for the love of it. Those are the ones who really deserve the most raving. Now, I've just mentioned my own writing. I have a collection of short stories myself called Once More Around the Sun. Won a couple of awards this year. If you want to check that out, that would be great. You can also find my range of Stephen King themed band shirts, my own newsletter and a bunch of other things as well. But most of all, thank you so much for checking this out. I really hope you enjoy it. So this particular episode of the book club, it's a collection of short stories that came out in 2023 because I don't just do brand new releases on the book club. This is a book that is brand new to me. It's been sat on my Kindle for ages. Shamefully, I just kept not reading it. But I finally caught up with it. And it's here. So, you know, I loved it. And I'm excited to tell you about it. This is I Will Devour You and Other Promises by Spencer Hamilton. Let's get into it. Okay, here's the synopsis. I Will Devour You. Spencer Hamilton has returned with 13 brutal tales of horror of succumbing to the darkness, of revenge and cruelty and monsters. A man wakes in his own grave. A little girl's day of smiling and turns into a nightmare. A grieving father faces the terror lurking beneath the ice of a frozen lake. The Antichrist mother live tweets her escape. A forest grows overnight in the Vatican, and a tumour that whispers, I will devour you. Come on inside, but be warned. These stories devour. And here's a little bit about the author, Spencer, who is a familiar name to long-time watchers of this channel because he was a guest on the Constant Writers podcast a while ago, and he's just a lovely human being. So let's find out more about Spencer. Spencer Hamilton is a queer horror author living in Philadelphia. His debut novel, The Fear, was called A Sweet Spot for the Supernatural and Body Horror, horror by Mother Horror. But his novella Sister Funtime, the prequel to his slasher novella Welcome to Smileyland, was reviewed favourably in Scream magazine. His short fiction, which has been collected in his books Kitchen Sink and I Will Devour You and Other Promises, has appeared in several anthologies from publishers such as Darklit Press, Hawkhouse Books, Pipe Publishing and Dark Pine Publishing. He is also the editor of the queer horror anthology There's More or Less Than You Know. Find him on Instagram at spencer.hamilton.books. Okay, there's your background. Let's get into my spoiler-free review of I Will Devour You. So quite why I left this over a year to finally pick this book up and, well, devour it, I'll never know. But hey, better late than never, right? This collection absolutely slams from the beautiful cover art right to the haunting final line of the final story. The writing throughout is tight engrossing and emotional the horror is unrelenting and the scares are properly terrifying so i wanted to shout out my favorites from this collection and there are 13 stories gathered here and as you'll pick up as we go through my notes well my favorites were most of them but hey that's a good thing right so i'm gonna go back to my notes because there's a lot to get through here so let's just go through the stories that i particularly enjoyed shall we okay this goes out to you so this one, we are up and running and we are not messing around. It's short and it's terrifying and it's exactly 666 words long. Nice. The Cold, The Grief. Now this one is a powerful musing on loss and on grief and it's especially effective portrayal of losing a child despite the fact that Spencer isn't a parent himself. Like, 
reading this as a parent, yeah, this one hit really hard. Next, the tweeted confession of Marion Thornwood. I thought this was a really fun way of telling a story via a Twitter thread. It was a little light, but it was really interesting and clever all the same, and I had a great time. Mama's Monster. This was a nasty story of vengeance and violence. Smile and say your prayers. Of course, we were going to get a trip to Smiley Land with Spencer Howerton. This is his recurring thing. And this particular visit to Smiley Land was just disorientating and totally discombobulating. Um, try not to feel dizzy when you're reading this story. You'll struggle. So you are beneath it all. This was a very dark tale of divorce that was told in the second person. Very weird and very disturbing. Great. Okay, the ones who watch. Honestly, I haven't looked at owls with such suspicion and fear as I have after reading this story, probably since I watched Twin Peaks for the first time. This is a dark tale about a man with a dark secret. And that's all you should know going into it. So Stomp, which is one he wrote with Amy Rochester. This one is feminine rage and wine. It's a classic combination, I think you'll agree. And it works really well in this story. Okay, so Evidence Locker VHS tape number six. So this is a story I had read before. This was originally in the anthology Devil's Rejects. It's found footage of a trip to a cave and things in that cave with teeth. And it's gnarly. After the shadows into the sun, this one a short and sharp tale of either guilt or revenge, depending on your viewpoint, really. Um, I would have liked more of this. And again, I actually had read this one before. It was originally in Slice of Paradise, which is a beach-themed horror anthology that is well worth checking out. And then last but not least in this collection, or at least in my list of favourites, is the title story I would devour you. It was short, it was sharp, and it was nasty. Okay, so when it comes to aligning this to a King book, obviously it's a collection of short stories. I'm going to align this to Bazaar of Bad Dreams for a few reasons. It's modern, it's mixed, it's scary, and through the fault of people like me, it's not talked about enough, but we are changing that now. So go and share this one out. Okay, to sum up, I had a brilliant time with this and I was kind of biased in a way because I know Spencer and I know he's a wonderful human, but I'm here to judge the writing and the writing was spectacular. The stories were great. And if like me, you have slept on this story collection, uh, change that because it will cheer you up immensely. It's a fantastic collection. Great cover, great stories throughout. You'll have a lovely time with it. It's been available for over a year now, so stop missing around. Go and get it. I Will Devour You and Other Promises by Spencer Alberton. Do it. Do it now. And Spencer, sorry that I waited so long, but I hope this has sort of made up for it. Okay, there we go. Another entry into the book club. If you want to see what else I've covered in the book club, do check out the playlist and, well, you can do exactly what I just said. Check out what else I've put in the book club. They're all books that I recommend. That's the whole point of the book club. No scores out of five or anything. I just bring books to you that I have enjoyed. So do with that what you will. But why am I rambling so much? If you enjoyed this and you go and check out I Will Devour You, do come back here and let me know how you get on with it. And as I said at the start, if you do read I Will Devour You and you like it, Review it on Amazon on Goodreads. It makes a massive difference and rave about it on your social media channels. It's, it's really heartwarming as an indie author to see somebody else out there in the world loving your work. It really does make a difference. So, yeah, do go and check out this one. Other things you can check out, my collection of Stephen King-themed band shirts, my own collection of short stories, Once More Around the Sun. Won a couple of awards this year. Pretty nice. Uh, you can sign up to my newsletter. You can subscribe to this channel. There's loads of Stephen King content you can check out, of course. And I think that's about it. So thank you for stopping by in the book club. And I hope to see you back here again for another recommended read very soon. <laughs>